We have a very simple model, which is about a school-based educational campaign around smoking, a school-based campaign being run. Uh, students uh, change their attitudes towards smoking because it's a smoking reduction program here. Students have more knowledge about the hazards of smoking and that leads through to reduce smoking. Now what I have done is now started to map onto that my evaluation question. So I'm inserting an evaluation question here. Did the school-based educational campaign uh, change students' attitudes towards smoking? And I've put that, and I'm just visually uh, moving that and putting that next to reduce smoking because that's the overall objective or outcome of the program. Now this is actually what we call an outcome or an impact evaluation question, so I've just actually popped that at the bottom of the question. Another question, another evaluation question is potentially how was the school-based program implemented? And that's actually a process evaluation question, looking at the process of the program. And I've put that at a relevant level, sort of halfway up the logic model. And then lastly, we have, in this case, a formative evaluation question, which is all about making sure the program is well formed, well implemented. What are the best methods for communicating with students? So you can see that we can use this to, to structure discussions with stakeholders. Uh, it's a lot more accessible than just a, a document. But often there'll be a list of evaluation questions in these big documents we normally produce. Um, and often